<laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Joanna, for thank that you. report. A three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit issued a decision regarding the fundamental right of birthright citizenship in the U.S. territories, and the content could be troubling for Guam. PNC's Tim McHenry with this report. The case has been covered by multiple mainstream media outlets, including CNN, Mother Jones, and HBO's John Oliver. Just imagine how it must feel to have the desire to vote, but know deep down you're going to be ignored. Actually, you don't have to imagine it, because let this Guam voter tell you. It's terrible. I mean, I, I believe it's not fair, you know. We're all citizens of the United States. I wish somebody changed that. Okay, that sounds sad, but at least on election day, that woman gets to wear the incredibly special I voted and wish it had actually counted sticker. The basic rights that come with the U.S. citizenship, a chief among them voting for United States president, has been a controversial issue for U.S. territories for some time. Earlier this month, a three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals issued a decision that could affect the way Guamanians are viewed in the eyes of the U.S. Constitution. According to a press release issued by Neil Ware, an attorney, the ruling, which was issued in the, in the court case 20 UA v. United States says that people born in the U.S. territory of American Samoa have no claim to U.S. birthright citizenship under the Citizenship Clause of the 14th Amendment. Although the case was specific to an American Samoan, Guamanians should be concerned about the insular case rulings, a series of decisions that span multiple court cases, which essentially say that although people born in U.S. territories can be U.S. citizens, they might lack the full rights of people born on the mainland. Where it tells PNC that Guamanians should be concerned about the troubling precedent this decision sets regarding people living in U.S. territory and their rights. Yeah, the D.C. Circuit panel's decision sets uh, a troubling precedent that uh, constitutional rights in U.S. territories can be turned on and off by just the political process. And that's the reason we have a constitution, is to have a certain baseline set of rights that all Americans enjoy. Uh, wherever they happen to live or have been born on U.S. soil. Congresswoman Madeline Bordalio said in reaction to the decision, quote, the rulings of the insular cases have an outdated view of the territories, and they reflect an interpretation of the Constitution that is based on racial and cultural stereotypes that nearly everyone would find offensive today, end quote. The two UA plaintiffs will request that the full D.C. Circuit now rehear their case in front of a full panel of judges as opposed to just three. For PNC News, I'm Tim McHenry.